Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. This is my first ever weekend vlog. I've never vlogged over the weekend, other than camping, but that's really a camping vlog. So this is the first time that I'm actually going to take you with me throughout Saturday and Sunday, kind of show you what I do. We're just gonna hang out today. So you saw my morning routine where I have my coffee, snuggle with the dogs for a few minutes, get ready to go, and now I'm in the car on my way to Jazzercise. I have the 8 a.m class this morning but before jazzercise we're going to make a quick detour at the post office to mail my mortgage payment and we've got to go to the bank to deposit a couple of checks that i've had in my wallet for too long they need to get put in the bank and then we have jazzercise so welcome to the weekend vlog So I'm going to take my pre-workout. It's about a quarter to eight. My class is at eight. So you can see that I put in, I guess, like maybe 10 ounces of water in with that My Adventure to Fit pre-workout. I love this stuff, you guys. It is a must-have. I'll link it down below with 10% off for you guys. But I just shake this up here in my blender bottle, drink it up, and then I just add fresh water to this bottle to take into the class. All right, it's time, my friends. Got my mask on, going to grab my weights, my water, and let's do this. All right, workout is done. I am a sweaty, nasty, disgusting mess. I do need to run to the grocery store really quick to grab some strawberries. We're heading to some friends tonight. I'll try to take you guys along with me. And I'm gonna make homemade strawberry shortcake. It is not low calorie, low fat, but I may show you the recipe anyways. And I'm about to take my post workout. So let me turn you guys around, show you what I take. And I officially have almost 6,000 steps. So whew, that was an incredible workout. So this is what I take after my workout. This is the Beyond Raw Precision BCAAs in the watermelon. This stuff is amazing. It tastes really, really good. So I just use one scoop. Two scoops is too sweet for me. And I pop it in that same uh, blender bottle there. And then I just use the rest of the water in that big water container. That's why I bring that because that water is my pre-workout, post-workout, and during my workout. So my bottle's empty from my workout. So I'm gonna pop a scoop of this in, shake it up, and head over to the store. All right, so here's what I grabbed at the store. So I picked up two more of my Good Culture Cottage Cheese because I'm obsessed. And my dog's tummy's been bugging her the last couple days. So you can give your dog a pumpkin or sweet potato and it helps with their stomach. So I grabbed that. 
and then I saw this on clearance. This is the Orgain Clean Protein. This is a pretty darn good protein shake with good ingredients. It was $1.99, and I thought that it would just be nice to have with coffee for that extra bit of protein. And then you can see down in there that I picked up some organic strawberries for the strawberry shortcake. And then this is actually a new flavor of Siggy's that I've never seen, vanilla and cinnamon. So I'm excited for that. And then um, what shopping trip does not contain kombucha? So this is the 25th anniversary one, the Sacred Blue. This one is really, really delicious. So that's what I picked up at the store. So now I'm going to go home and eat breakfast because it is almost 10 o'clock and I'm starving. Mommy's home, everyone! Woohoo! All right, so here's my breakfast. I actually have two servings or 220 grams of this Good Culture Whole Milk Cottage Cheese. That's a lot of cottage cheese. It's like over half this container. And then I topped it with about a half of a cup of fresh blueberries. That way I get a little fruit, some protein. And then I'm having that kombucha that I picked up at the store. So that is going to be breakfast. I will probably have a snack as well as a somewhat early lunch. It's just about 10 o'clock. All right, I am out of the shower. I've got a little soaking wet here. I'm gonna let this air dry for a little bit and then we are going to make strawberry shortcake. I've gotta cut up and prep my fruit for the week. So yeah, we're gonna just hang out together today. I'm gonna show you the strawberry shortcake recipe even though it's not WW friendly. I'll show you also how I'm tracking my dinner for tonight and how I'm kind of making sure I keep enough calories and things for tonight's dinner. Now today's my high point, high calorie day. So I shoot for between 2100 and like 2300 calories today and then I don't worry so much about going over my points it is just kind of the day that I use my weeklies or my high calories ready fresh fruit is ready for the week I just go ahead and slice my strawberries in half wash them really good rinse my blueberries off and put them in these containers these are those containers that I picked up at Costco they are not on Costco.com but check your local Costco I love them and there's one more there's a huge one that I usually store my greens in so fruit is done for the week. All right, so here's the ingredients for the strawberry shortcake. Again, not WW friendly. This is our splurge day. This is easy homemade strawberry shortcake. I will link this recipe down below and put it on my website for you guys. But of course, you'll need some strawberries. I already rinsed those. We'll go ahead and chop those up. Butter, salt, whole milk or buttermilk, flour, sugar, heavy whipping cream, baking powder, and vanilla. So actually pretty easy. We're just going to quickly go through the recipe. I'm just gonna walk you guys through it very, very quickly, but again, it will be down on my website. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and slice up the strawberries. Just go ahead and throw them in a bowl once they are sliced up. Look at my beautiful strawberries. So I think what I'm going to do, because we are going to eat this with our friends at dinner, is I'm just going to package it all up and take it with us. So I'm just gonna add some saran wrap here to the strawberries. This is the recipe that I'm using for inspiration. I'm actually going to half it only because there's only four of us and it's pretty high calorie so i want to make sure that we don't overeat it on accident with so many servings so i'm going to half the recipe get these wrapped up and then let's go ahead and make the biscuits i almost forgot the sugar so i did an eighth of a cup of sugar and then about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and the recipe wants you to put some uh, heavy whipping cream in the strawberries. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save the fat and calories of the heavy whipping cream for the actual whipped cream portion of the recipe. So now let's pop it in the fridge. So here's my biscuit dough. I have just a really small quarter sheet pan I sprayed with some avocado spray and I'm just going to roll these into biscuit shapes. We want them touching on the pan. So I'm going to roll them out I don't really care how many I get. The recipe have makes six servings, so maybe at least 12 so that we can have two biscuits per serving. And 12 biscuits are here. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven 425 until they are cooked through. It also says to go ahead and brush the tops with some heavy whipping cream or buttermilk and sprinkle them with sugar. I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't wanna add any more sugar and I don't know if the milk makes much difference. Actually, you know what? I think what I will do is brush the top with um, 
an egg wash, just an egg white wash, and that may help brown them up a little bit. Now, girl, we're making some whipped cream. So I have one cup of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. I've been using the Trader Joe's. This one's really good. And I'm gonna whisk this up, whip it up, make a whipped cream, and then I'm just going to put some saran wrap on it and toss it in the fridge, and I'll take this with us with the strawberries and the biscuits over to our friends. Homemade whipped cream for the win. So this is going in the refrigerator. I'll show you guys what the biscuits look like. We'll cool those, bag those up, and dessert is done for tonight. How easy. These look so good. I'm putting out a little bit of egg wash on them so they're nice and brown. So I'm gonna let these cool completely. I'll just break them apart, throw them in a Ziploc bag, and we'll take those with us tonight. And right now, I'm making lunch. I know it looks like breakfast, but it's lunch. All right, so lunch is served. We're making it simple. It's about 355 calories, which I'll show you my lose it out next where I pre-tracked my dinner, kind of talk about what I'm shooting for calorie wise today. So what I have is I have two of the Trader Joe's cauliflower thins. These are really good. I just pop them in my toaster and then they come out kind of crispy like toast. Topped it with one serving or one egg. Basically, I used the rest of those liquid eggs. And then the star of the show is two tablespoons for one point of this plant-based queso that I hauled on Saturday's grocery haul. This is amazing, you guys. It's so good. So I basically have two tablespoons of that. So it has some really good flavor. I'm getting some cheese, but it's only one smart point. And then I'm having that Siggy's yogurt I picked up at the store today. I'm excited to give that a try. So I'll put points calories here on the screen for you guys but that is lunch all right so really quick you can see that with dinner tracked and everything i've eaten today i'm at 1739 now again my goal is 21 to 2300 do you see this negative 403 that is because i did jazzercise so it's crediting me back 400 calories i don't eat my workout calories my caloric goal every day includes a deficit and we don't add back in our exercise so i completely ignore that and look at this number right here this food number all right so breakfast you saw that i had coffee the kombucha the cottage cheese and the blueberries lunch was the cauliflower thin with the queso eggs and the yogurt and then for dinner, I tracked the strawberry shortcake, so it's 309 calories. I tracked one bun, one burger, one slice of garlic bread, and of course, a summer shandy beer. And that puts me at the 1789, 1739. I don't know what other side dishes she's going to have. And I also will probably have a snack before we head on over. So at this point, I essentially have between 400 and 600 calories left for the day. So of course I'll show you if I eat anything else. But yeah, that's kind of how I kind of pre-tracked dinner just so I knew what I had left for the day today. Finished look. 
We did pretty natural with the exception of the lashes. I have a neutral lip today. Next time you see me, I'll be ready, dressed, hair done, all the things, and you'll see the put together look for today. All right, and I'm ready for the day. I'm wearing this cute little tank, but I love this tank top. I think it's really cute with this kind of pattern here, and then I just threw on some silver earrings, so I'm ready. Nothing fancy. We're literally going over to some friends. I wanted to wear a tank top because it's probably going to be hot. So there you have it. I am ready to go. So I'm going to do a little editing, hang out around the house a little bit. And then when I go either have a snack this afternoon or pack up to go, I'll show you, I'll show you that. So I'm going to have one of these bars for a snack. I have not even shown these on my channel yet. I actually just got them. Wanted to try them before I let you guys know how they are. These are from Coffee Over Cardio. So the same place I get my coffee and this cute ma or cute tumbler. So this is their version of a protein bar. It's called the Coffee Break. It says eight grams of pure isolate protein. There's actually 10 grams total in the bar. This is the vanilla honey. This one is so good. It has a little bit of salt, so it's kind of that salty sweet. There's also a peanut butter, which I also ordered. I like this one way better. If you're going to get one of the bars, I highly recommend this one. So these are five smart points a piece. They're actually 140 calories and again, 10 grams of protein. And this is what the bar looks like. So it kind of reminds me of the old OG power bars. Do you guys remember those? It's really good. So this is the size of it compared to my hand. So, I mean, it's, it's fairly small. I would say maybe three inches long by maybe an inch and a half wide, but it's really, really good. I really, again, like this vanilla and honey. I'll link my discount for Coffee Over Cardio below for you guys. I like them. They are five smart points a piece. I remember them being a little bit pricey, but with the discount that I have, it may be worthwhile, but just at least check them out. So I'm going to have this this afternoon for a snack for 140 calories, five points and 10 grams of protein. While I was sitting here editing, I had some of the Trader Joe's patio chips. They're now gone. I don't think I'm going to buy them again because I always want them. They're so good. So I had one and a half servings of the patio potato chips. It is four smart points per serving. So six points worth and about 210 calories or so. So I tracked it. We're good. I'm still doing really good on calories with dinner track. So I will see you guys when we head out the door. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? Bite me. <laughs> So I'm about to pack up our food to take over, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of fun things that I grabbed. I'll link these down below for you guys. If I can score you a discount code, I will do that as well. But I grabbed this. This, this is from the brand Adirac, Adirac. These are barbecue roasting forks. So it is a set of these. These are telescopic. So you can go ahead and pull these out and they expand so that if you want to cook a hot dog over a hot fire they'll expand out so that you're far enough away and it comes with this cute little bag and i'm gonna use these for hot dogs marshmallows for s'mores and there's quite a big set so if you have a family there's enough for the whole family and again those are them and then also i've never had a meat thermometer so i'm excited to finally have one this is that same brand Adirac, and this is the professional food and meat thermometer so this is what it looks like. That way we can test our burgers and you can test steaks, chicken, and the actual meat thermometer part comes out. And then look at that, check it out, a bottle opener. So I'm really excited about this and these roasting forks. The ones that we have are so short, your hand gets really hot really quick. So I'm excited about these. I love that they telescopic, that they're telescopic and they have a cute little bag and the meat thermometer. So I'll link these below. Here's what I'm bringing to the barbecue. So there are my biscuits that I made, strawberries, homemade whipped cream. So that's the dessert. This is the beer that I really like. It is only 135 calories. This is my favorite. This is the last one that I have. I literally, you guys have one and that's it. So I'm bringing that. And then I've got a variety of burgers here. So these burgers are amazing. These are the grass fed grass finished from butcher box. I do have a link down below to get $30 off your first butcher box. If you're interested, I will not probably have one of these only because they're 400 calories, 
per burger, but they're really, really delicious. And then I also have these Good and Gather from Target. These are $85.15. I will have one of these because these are only 240 calories. Now they're a much smaller burger. They're not grass fed and grass finished, but it's perfect for me and it's much better than 400 calories even though these are amazing. And then I also have hamburger buns from Walmart. These are the lowest point buns in my area. They're only 100 calories and three smart points. So she said she'll have condiments, cheese, all the things. So this is what I'm bringing besides my marshmallow roasting sticks and meat thermometer. I almost forgot the garlic bread. We're taking this over too. So this is certified organic essential baking take and bake garlic bread. This bread is so freaking good. This is from Imperfect Food. So again, there's a link down below for that for $10 off your first box. It's 160 calories per slice. It's amazing, you guys. It's so good. So I'm gonna bring that over too. So I'm packed up and ready to go. What you got? I'm gonna see that thing. An airplane. <laughs> yeah, <it's> an airplane. <laughs> happy Sunday as you saw we had coffee the dogs had a treat I just took my greens I've got water this is actually the third water today I've been drinking a ton of water doing a few things getting ready to have breakfast and to start my meal prep so today you are going to see on natural because I don't get ready or put makeup on on Sunday I spend most of the day doing my meal prep and kind of getting ready for the week so I'll be meal prepping today editing videos I'll show you everything that I eat today I'm actually not going anywhere so yeah we don't have a whole lot going on today but I'll take you guys along with me and I'm going to share tonight's dinner recipe with you I'm so excited you guys it sounds so delicious so you're even going to get another recipe in this weekend vlog so let's jump into our Sunday so for breakfast today I'm trying a TikTok hack now I don't even have TikTok but our friends were telling us about this last night and apparently this is really really good so basically for this you need a tortilla I use the La Tortilla low carb ones because they have really good ingredients. You'll also need an egg or two and then whatever toppings you want. So we're making kind of like a breakfast quesadilla, but you make it all in one pan. I'll show you guys, but I'm going to actually add some of this Good Foods queso. You guys, this is incredible. I love this. So report back. This, in my opinion, is better than Siete. I know. Who am I? I love Siete, but this is delish. So I'm going to use that as some flavor, some filling. So let's try out this TikTok hack. So step one is warm up a pan with some nonstick cooking spray. And then I took two eggs, just kind of scrambled them up with a little of the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel. I'm not sorry, not everything but the bagel, the onion salt, duh, what I always use in my eggs. And then you want to kind of get this coated on the bottom of your skillet. And then we're going to take the tortilla and we're going to just put it right over the egg. I know that seems weird. And we're gonna let this cook for just a few minutes and then we'll flip it and the egg should stick to the tortilla and basically make it like you put scrambled eggs in your tortilla but all in one flat piece easy peasy so we'll see if this works once we flip it then we'll add the queso or whatever toppings you want to put in the quesadilla so i'm gonna let this cook for a little bit i'm gonna watch the edges here to make sure my egg is cooked all the way before flipping okay so here is the 
tester. So it looks like it's done to me. You know what? I might not even need. Hang on. I know this is weird. I don't know. <gasps> I don't know how to flip it. Okay. It is stuck to it. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe I'm doing this live without testing this. Okay. So I'm going to flip. Ooh, look at that. Let's fold that right back over. Oh my gosh. How fun. So now I'm going to put two tablespoons of the queso. Okay, so queso is on, and then I believe all you do is fold it right in half, and then you're gonna let it sear and kind of get that crispy of a quesadilla. All right, so here it is. It turned out so good, and I love that the egg fits the entire tortilla, so you get a little egg in every bite. Plus, it makes it easy, rather than trying to put scrambled eggs into a tortilla, so yeah, this looks amazing. The queso is so good, you guys. Highly recommend. And then I have about a half of a cup of blueberries. So this is breakfast. Are you comfy? Yeah, I bet. You've dug out all the blankets. Yeah, you're so tired. Yeah, little missy. Little, little turd. All right, you know what time it is? It is kombucha time. It is about 9 a.m. I ate breakfast about seven, so I'm going to have this. I have some cottage cheese on my radar if I get hungry before lunch, but I'm in the midst of meal prepping and that keeps me pretty occupied. So I'm going to enjoy the gingerberry kombucha while I continue to meal prep. So it's about 10 20. I'm going to have a snack. I'm a little hungry and I'm still working on meal prep. So I don't want to stop and eat lunch probably till about noon. So what I have is 185 grams. So a little less than two servings of the good culture whole milk cottage cheese. I believe it's six points, but I will put points and calories here on the screen. My favorite cottage cheese ever. So this is going to be my morning snack. It's almost lunchtime. Are you going to get up? No? Okay. How about you, little lady? It's almost lunchtime. Are you going to get up? No? Not interested, huh? It is noon. I'm going to make some lunch. So I'm going to make a spin on avocado toast using the sweet to toast. These are from Kali Power, the same company that makes those really good chicken strips that I love for my salads. I got these a few weeks ago and I love these. These are delicious. So these are the sea salt and olive oil roasted sweet potato slices. I'm going to top them with one serving of the Applegate natural smoked turkey breast and about 60 grams of avocado. So this is what those toasts look like. So they're literally perfect for avocado toast. And this is my little mini air fryer. This is the Copper Chef air fryer. This is perfect for two people and I love it. It's so cute. It's about $50. I'll link it down below for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the toasts. I'll measure out the meat and the avocado. I think I'm also going to have some strawberries and some yogurt. All right, it's lunchtime. I'm outside. So the light may not be the best, but it is a beautiful day. So I decided to go ahead and head outside to eat my lunch. So I'm having one of the Siggy's 4% vanilla yogurt. This is kind of my dessert. I have about a cup of fresh strawberries. I may pop a couple on my yogurt. And then this is my delicious lunch. So I have three of those sweet potatoes with one serving or two ounces of the Applegate turkey, 60 grams of avocado smashed up with some everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I'm having one of the Trader Joe's seltzer water, blood orange and orange juice. Oh my goodness, are these delicious. So I am doing that. And this is my lunch. Points and calories are here on the screen. When I'm done eating, let's have a little chat. Hey guys, so I'm out on my patio. I just finished my lunch. It was so good. Super filling, delicious. I love those sweet potato toasts. I know I can make my own, but it's the convenience. It's so nice to just pop that in the air fryer. So seriously delicious. And this sparkling water hits the spot. It was a really good lunch, but I thought that I'd take a moment. I wanted to talk with you guys. I actually was just watching Justin's journey on YouTube. If you don't know who she is, check her out. She is really down to earth and honest and transparent and really, really sweet. So check out her channel, but she just did a Q and A. It's funny because I uploaded my Q and A today and then I saw her Q and A. So I've been kind of watching it as I'm preparing and eating my lunch. And it got me thinking that you guys really like the Q and A's, especially with a get ready with me. And her Q and A was more about 
kind of a juicy Q&A, so I'm inspired by her to do that same type of video. So I wanted to chat with you guys and have you leave down in the comments any kind of juicy questions you have. Now this can be personal questions, career, YouTube, really anything you want to ask me that maybe you haven't asked before, but you want me to answer as long as it is clean. It's PG 13, not rated R because it has to go up on YouTube. And I'll also post this over on my Instagram, but I thought it would be kind of fun to follow in Justin's footsteps and do kind of a juicy Q and a again, ask the questions that maybe you weren't comfortable asking before and I'll answer them. I may do another, get ready with me. If you would rather, I just sit down and answer the questions. Let me know that if you would rather me do a Q and a get ready with me where I put on my makeup, let me know that as well. So I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys what you want, but I thought that that would be really fun because I do get a lot of questions privately that I feel that a lot of you want to know the answer to. So thank you, Justin, for the inspiration. And if you made it this far in the video, definitely leave a question down below for me because we are approaching the end of another long video, but this weekend vlog has been so much fun and I am excited for this juicy Q and A. So here's what I'm having for an afternoon snack. I'm not super hungry, just a little bit, and I wanna be able to make it until dinner. It's about two o'clock. So this is the Orgain Clean Protein Shake. I actually got this at the store that you guys saw yesterday. This is really good. I like it by itself. I like it in coffee. It's actually one of my very favorites and it has fantastic ingredients and 20 grams of protein. So I'll put calories and points here on the screen for you, but this is today's afternoon snack. For tonight's dinner, I'm making Tuscan Chicken Skillet. I'm so excited that I'm able to give you a WW friendly recipe and a fun dessert in our weekend vlog. So let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. First, you'll need some salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, spinach, you could use fresh or frozen, Pasta, I'm going to be using the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. This is my very favorite. You guys know that this is a staple in our house. Funny story, I told my husband I was making pasta for dinner. First thing he asked is, are you using Fiber Gourmet? That is how much this household loves this pasta. This pasta is 100 calories for two ounces dry compared to 210 calories. So this is two smart points for two ounces versus five or six smart points for two ounces. So game changer on WW, you can have real delicious pasta for only two points. There's 25 grams of fiber versus two grams, only 17 net carbs versus 41, and the traditional seven grams of protein per serving. This pasta, you guys, is amazing. You have to get your hands on this. You can pick this up off of Nutrition. I will link Nutrition down below for you. So definitely pick yourself up some fiber gourmet. You're also going to need minced garlic, whole milk, chicken breast, I have about a pound here, a couple, two, three tomatoes, some fresh basil, and some bacon. So let's make some pasta. So I have some water coming to a boil here so that we can cook the pasta. And then in a large skillet, I have four slices of bacon. We're going to get that cooked completely down till it's nice and crispy, remove it from the pan, pop it onto a paper plate so that we can start continuing on with the Tuscan skillet. All right, bacon is removed. I just added the chicken to the skillet. I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper. Our pasta is cooking away, looking good. To the hot skillet, after removing the chicken, I went ahead and added a big spoonful of garlic. I'm just going to let that cook in kind of the brown bits of the chicken until it becomes fragrant. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop in the tomatoes. Excuse my dogs barking at who knows what outside, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the two chopped up tomatoes. And then I have three quarters of a cup of whole milk. Oh. Love being a dog mom. And we're gonna go ahead and just let that simmer until it starts to thicken. Once your sauce starts to simmer, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the whole bag of baby spinach because as you know, spinach wilts down to nothing and the recipe calls for five ounces and this bag is six. So I'm gonna add the whole bag and let it wilt down. From this to this. Isn't that crazy? It just wilts down to pretty much nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and add back in our ingredients to finish off our skillet. So first we're gonna go ahead and add back in the crumbled up bacon. 
We're also going to add back in the chicken. So I'm gonna actually give this, I think a quick mix. I wanna make sure that bacon kinda gets mixed up really well with the rest of it. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. And you know what? Before I add in the chicken, it's real life, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my three quarters of a cup of parm. And I'm also going to add in my eight ounces of cooked fiber gourmet noodles. Give that a stir, then we'll add in the chicken. I want to make sure that the pasta gets coated in the sauce and that that Parmesan cheese kind of has a chance to melt too. I added a little more salt and pepper, stirred that in, topped it with the four pieces of chicken, and doesn't this look amazing? So this entire pan makes only four servings. We're going to top it with some fresh basil. So I'll be back to show you dinner, give you points and calories. So here is tonight's dinner. So this is one-fourth of the Tuscan chicken skillet. Look at how good that looks. Topped it with some fresh basil. So it is seven points on both the blue and purple plan and five points on purple if you use a zero point pasta and nine points on the green plan because you have to count for the chicken. And we remember we did use whole milk and cheese, bacon, oh, so good, 381 calories total. So here's my dessert for tonight. I'm gonna have a vanilla Cleo bar. I've been looking forward to this all day. So this is going to round out my food for the day. So I'll put here on the screen the points for this and my total points and calories for the day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on my first ever weekend vlog. It was seriously so much fun to film. I know we didn't do a whole lot, but it's nice just to take you with me on my day-to-day -day life. This is what we do on the weekends, with the exception of going somewhere fun and exciting. This is pretty much our life. So I'm glad that I was able to share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That way I'll know to do these weekend vlogs in the future. Also down in the comments, let me know if you'd like to see more of these because like I said, it was a lot of fun. It's pretty fun sharing my day-to-day -day life with you guys. If you're new, I'd love for you to stick around. I do upload most days of the week. So just hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't want to miss a single video. Again, if you're new, thank you so much for checking out my channel and returning subscribers. Thank you so much as always for taking time today to watch my video. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below where you'll find my website for any recipes as well as links and discount codes to some of the items that I shared with you today and the rest of my very, very favorite things. So check out that description box. Head on over and join me on my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of that community. All you have to do is click the link in the description box, request to join, and you'll be part of that amazing community that is 16,000 members strong. Thank you again for hanging out with me this weekend, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!